everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside Harbor Seafood Super Buffet. There you go, that is a hard to put it all on the screen. Anyway, long story short, guys, this is actually the best, highly, most number one rated buffet in all of Phoenix, Arizona. In fact, this is supposed to be the best seafood buffet also in all of Arizona, at least in Phoenix area. So here we are, guys, at Phoenix's best buffet to try hopefully everything. They have a poke bar, apparently. I think they have like hibachi grill. Um, it's only like 16, 17 bucks, which is nuts. But anyway, obviously you're supposed to have a lot of seafood. This is the dinner hour, so they should have more. Um, but yeah, you yeah, haven't eaten all day. Did lots of cardio at the gym. So that, let's go, let's find these food. Let's go eat. If you ever find yourself waiting for things, just like, well, let's say I was waiting for food, you can play a game called Huge Casino. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Huge Casino. So Huge Casino is a free to download game available on iOS and Android devices. It is not an opportunity to win money. It's for leisure, it's for fun. And if you join our night, you get a 5 million chip bonus. The game offers over a hundred online casino games from retro classics to modern day slots, spy by real slots. And on top of slots, you can play games like poker, roulette, baccarat, and blackjack. You can join a club and play with your friends and compete in the billionaire league. I know so many people who play this game, they just find it super relaxing. They can just kind of sit and play and play and play and have fun, not have to worry about losing money like in a real casino. And uh, let's just say it's a game you can play while you're waiting for food or waiting for other things. And right now you can download Huge Casino with the link in my description. It helps sponsor, it also helps the channel out if you use that link. And after you download for free, like I said, they have a sign up bonus of five million chips. All right, so to start we have sushi, which I gotta say, this actually looks pretty damn impressive, like comparable to what you'd see at a uh, sushi restaurant. Um, at least like an all-you-can-eat. Wow, they even have sashimi. Wow, that is, I've never seen that before at a uh, kind of buffet of this style. So that's pretty cool. Good variety there. Wasabi, ginger. Now up here, this is the poke bar. So they have like the crab, they have the um, sauces. Like I said, it's a tuna, um, spicy mayo, eel sauce, different, uh, mostly veggies, but nonetheless, those are the options over here. We have the kind of hibachi grill. So this is where you pick your veggies and your meats and they cook them for you up on the grill. So that's pretty cool. Here we have the salad bar section, which is actually pretty comprehensive. I got no complaints about that. It's not too bad, not too bad. Looking pretty, pretty good. Here we have some fruits. Some grapes, uh, looks like canned pineapple. Oh, canned pineapple, no, break my hair. Oh, fresh pineapple too, yes, 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 delicious. Here we have some crawfish. Here we have beef ribs. That's pretty cool. Um, a variety of different dishes like honey chicken, baby clams, beef and broccoli. We have coconut shrimp, mushrooms, seafood delight, bok choy. Here we have some different salads. They have a pig feet salad, that's pretty cool. Chicken feet salad, spicy octopus. That looks really good, actually. Also some oysters, shrimp. Here we have some barbecue items. That is not steak, that is definitely like some char siu ribs. Those would be little like ribs as well. Some desserts, excuse me. Here we have a variety of different soups. We have some kind of more Americanized Chinese food items. All along here, lots of them, interesting. And then last but not least, we have kind of some more, uh, well, some shrimps and crabs, a uh, little fish, you're good, excuse me, thank you. We have salt pepper crab, that actually looks really, really good, wow. Um, a roast beef, I think it's had better days, but seafood boil, Cajun delight, that actually looks really nice also. Some salmon, wow, we had, we had some options. All right, so I'm just saying to start, I'm actually thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the variety. And I have never ever come to any sort of a pan-Asian buffet order, I, like item buffet at all like this, and basically got a plate full of sushi and fish, because usually it looks not great. This looks impressive, man. I actually got a whole bunch of sashimi, I have some seared 
a tuna nigiri. I have some spicy salmon rolls. I have the poke. I got some salmon poke, some tuna meat. Um, the poke itself has like uh, cucumber. It has what looks like celery. It has edamame. I got some uh, uzu, uh, sweet uzu sauce on it. Also got some sweet kimchi sauce they call. And then the sashimis of salmon and tuna. Um, I also got it on a bed of some pickled kind of cucumbers and onions and tomato. Which is delicious, it's like a sweet vinegar. But maybe I shouldn't have went full on in with the sushi and the poke. Cause either, well, let's just say it looked really good, so I got a lot. Hopefully it tastes good. I feel bad using a, a fork, but anyway, maybe I will start with, well, let's try the uh, salmon sashimi. Like I said, this looks really good. And some wasabi, some ginger. I'm gonna get some soy. I'll just pour it right on. And hopefully we don't get sick. Oh my God. It's fantastic! Holy crap! This is insane! The tuna's really good too! Oh my god! Alright, already. $16? Well, you can eat sashimi that's actually good? That's insane! Try a uh, spicy tuna roll. Not as enjoyable. There's that seared crusted tuna. Mm. Black pepper. Let's try the uh, poke now. This I'm excited for. I've never seen poke bar at a, at a restaurant like this. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's I mean, pretty basic. A little bit of cilantro in it. Obviously, you can add all the sauces and mayonnaises that you want. Grab this little spoon. Now, admittedly, the fish doesn't taste as good or as fresh, I should say, in the poke compared to the um, sashimi. Mm. Mm. You got a sweet kimchi sauce. Wow. Um, let me just say. That was so impressive. <laughs> We're getting some more. One thing is for sure though, listen, I mean, they're kind of busy, but the service here is not great. Um, I've had to chase them down for water. Love, I, I won't go on, but anyway, um, I got some uh, kind of like ish more Chinese, ish American Chinese items that I would normally wouldn't get, including a beef rib. I got a, what is supposed to be a broccoli and beef, but there's no beef in it. I got a teriyaki chicken, got some mushrooms, got some spicy octopus, some coconut shrimp, and some pepper steak to try. And then I got some uh, sashimi again, with some more of my cucumber salad, some beets, some kimchi, and one um, eel nigiri, which I'm excited to try. So I'll probably again hit this lovely sashimi. And I did find a little uh, soy cup, I guess you could say. This was really good the first time. Again, impressively so. With, with sashimi at a buffet. Nope, oh, got tuna and, there we go. Tuna and salmon in this bite. Yeah. Hey, as long as it doesn't come back at a later date to bite me. It's delicious. Try some kimchi. Not bad. And honestly, I'm just gonna take the eel, try it as it is. I wouldn't get the, uh, I wouldn't get the eel guy. All right, now let's try coconut shrimp. Mm. 
Man, that is sweet. Mm. Very sweet. Mm. Very good. Not calorie free. Have a steak. That's very good, actually. Mm. Let's put a grill on it. Try some baby octopus. Mm. The octopus, you know, like a cilantro, a little jalapeno. So in a way, it's almost like a ceviche, but it's cooked. A little chewy, but it's not bad. Um, one thing I will say, although it's kind of oily, like, oh, you know, obviously these are the oilier, heavier items. Compared to most, um, dare I say, like, Chinese buffets, I don't feel they're, like, overly making this super oily. Don't get me wrong, it's still very oily. But, compared to the last time I had a Chinese food buffet, this is actually... Again, I would say I have a lot higher quality. Try this beef rib. So not a lot of meat on it, but it's all right. Mm. That is tender. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Woo! Very fatty. But very delicious. Wow. So it's like a Chinese five spice. Thank you. Can I get some more water, please? Thank you so much. It's kind of like a Chinese five spice flavor. Very sweet. Like I said, very fatty. Well, I'm good to go. And these are items I would never get at a buffet. Usually, a buffet like this, when I get the hibachi grill, I go straight to the hibachi, kind of make my own. Everybody, the items here are actually look so delicious that I'm getting all the pre-made ones. So I have a char siu rib, I got a piece of roast beef, I got a salt and pepper crab, salt and pepper um, prawn here, which is a great big prawn. I got a piece of their baked salmon, I have a piece of their andouille sausage, and a crawfish on their Cajun boil, and the shrimps in there were massive. Anyway, let's try the, uh, maybe the roast beef here first. It actually looks, although it looks like it was kind of older, it looks pretty juicy. <laughs> hmm. You know what? It's actually pretty tender. If it was fresh, I think it'd be really good. Try this lovely looking char siu rib. It's quite meaty. Mm. Oh, not great. It's pretty tough. Yeah, I would recommend. Try some salt, pepper, crab. Mm. Oh man. Whatever they did to this shell, I can eat it. And it's really nice. Very soft, basic. Definitely like a fried crab, deep fried crab. Try this prawn out, which is definitely a good size, guys. Like, like I said, this is thoroughly, thoroughly impressive. Good flavor. Salmon. Not good. Andouille sauce. I mean, the crawfish boil tastes good. It's like Cajun season. And it's well seasoned. So, that was, at least that crab was very, very good. Crab was the best item on that plate. Yeah, thoroughly impressed overall though. So I got some hibachi action going, but in the meantime, I got another beef rib. I got some more of these crabs because they brought a great big tray. I got this crazy fresh looking uh, chicken skewer they just brought out. Mm. Not the best, but it is so fresh, it's burning hot. 
Maybe a little bit of maybe a little bit of hot sauce action. See if that makes it any better. Better, but not the best tasting item. Try these greasy crabs out again. Man, that is delicious. Mm. And it's so sweet. That lump meat, that knuckle. Mm. And these are fresh. Probably not supposed to eat the shell, but. It's possible. Nice club of meat. Nice sweet crab. These are supposed to be fresh ribs too. Not as fresh as those. But it's still very good. And here I got my hibachi plate, some chicken, a whole bunch of vegetables, some different um, chili sauces and sriracha and a little bit of everything um, man the only one thing i really wish like the food is great but man the service sucks i can't like i wish they had a self they should just have self-serve beverages then i wouldn't be able to complain but i literally for the life of me cannot get you know a drink yeah that's exactly what i want i get done without oil so it's very Lean, vegetables, chicken, spices, some jalapenos, some garlic, some hot sauce. We have lots of tapatio. No tapatio is not my favorite hot sauce. Well, it's not bad, but let me know your favorite and comment down below. Great way to get some healthy veggies in, some lean meats. Be I even went and chased the servers down and asked for water, and this is a while ago. I still haven't got it, so still critiquing that. But I got myself a plate of pineapple, which looks awesome. I brought my own chili and palva, some Valentina, like tahini. I got a couple more of this um, octopus, the octopus spicy octopus salad. Mm. Let me know if you'd eat little tentacles. It's nice. Thank you. Okay, I got a water. I got some more of the sashimi. So salmon. I'm so impressed with that. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's a good quality. Like, I think this is more beef rib. Well, it's nice to have fatty, but it's good. You'll want some ginger and wasabi to cleanse your palate. Let's try this pineapple. Out. It's a pretty nice color. Like, it's pretty deep yellow. It was sitting in a bit of a liquid, like, I don't know if it's possible that they, like, soak it in water or something. It tastes kind of watery, but try with some chili and pavo. Mm. Mm. Definitely makes it better. But something's weird about it. It seems like cooked or, like, canned pineapple. But I've never seen big pieces like this as such. Weird. So I went and got some more fruit. Pineapple's my favorite, so I wanted to give it another shot, right? Because they did bring out some new pineapple. So this looks a little less, I don't know, like before it didn't look like it would have been canned either, but this looks a little more like, I don't know, even more normal. Try it some chili and palmo. Mm. 
no. Something's wrong with that. I've never had such a flavorless pineapple. It seems like they soak it. I bet they like, like maybe they cut it, leave it soaking water or something all day. Mm. That candle looks good. But I do think this is the first time I've ever met a pineapple that I'm gonna say sucks. Let's try out this. Honeydew. Not bad. Cantaloupe was better. But still a little flavorless somehow. Alright, so we got another hibachi uh, being made. In the meantime, here I got an actual piece of beef from the beef and broccoli, so I tried that from earlier. Not bad. Bit of a sweeter sauce than you see. This is a very, very rich, oily dish called the Seafood Delight. It's basically shrimp. Peppers and onions, and like a sweet and sour sauce. Or my pickled vegetable salad. And cantaloupe. Yeah, the cantaloupe's the only good fruit to that. Cool, so I got my Hibachi, which is again basically vegetables and chicken and then hot sauces and even a little bit of their um, spicy Chinese mustard. Which although pretty good, not as good as English mustard. From the UK. just because they put up new trays. Here I have some of this crab bake. They have this crab bake, which is just drenched in oil and cheese. And that is very delicious, but not calorie free. This is called a steamed flounder. Actually, that's really good too. It's basically just a white fish. Definitely a little bit of salt. Very soft. There's definitely a bit of a oilish whatever in it as well. I don't want to go out steam. I think that's more beef ribs. I really just pulled these pieces off the bone. Fatty but good. And that's a piece of teriyaki chicken. Now normally I wouldn't salt something at a Similar buffet, but I want to try it with the beef rib. It made no difference. That's still good. Which I'm really enjoying that mustard. I'm gonna get some more. Yeah, I wish I would have gotten this mustard earlier. It's quite strong, again, kind of like, you get in the, na the nasals, you know, like the horseradishy kind of. Mm. Woo! I feel it. Mm. Yeah, that kicks. Yum, but, whew, clear my sinuses out. that though everybody. I think that's about it. I'm not going over the board. This is just kind of an average day. This is the only thing I've eaten today. It's been one meal for the day. I said hit all my calories. I had no food. I'm content. So yeah, overall definitely worth the price. Super impressed with the sashimi. Like seriously, the sashimi was awesome. Um, like really, it's one of my favorite items for today. Um, not impressed with the fruits, <laughs> but the uh, hibachi, of course, are 
with Mongolian grill, whatever you call it. That was good. It was simple, exactly what you want it. You pick your vegetables and meats and they cook them for you. A lot of those like yeah, normal items on the buffet I never would touch were fantastic. Coconut shrimp were really good. Those beef ribs were very good. Um, the they have a lot, a lot of like chicken wings and stuff there too. I just didn't get them, but that's a good value nowadays. Chicken wings are pretty expensive, um, but yeah, like the beef and broccoli and also mixed dishes, they're pretty damn good. Honestly, I'm I'm, I'm very impressed. So totally worth the cost. They do have a good variety of seafood items. Huge prawns up there. Lots of seafood items. Those crabs were great. And again, if I wanted to pick through shells, there's loads of shrimp and stuff, but that's pretty much it, guys. So I would actually really recommend stopping on by. So Harbor, Harbor Seafood Super Buffet. So would recommend North Phoenix. So that won't cost you next time. Say happy on your happy eating. That's about it. So appreciate y'all. Have a lovely day. everybody the time has come not for me to shave my head for you to subscribe so click my face right here subscribe click one of these two videos i picked just for you and exciting news we also have a new channel so if you want to watch challenges raw uncut so you get to hear what the audience says hear my real thoughts opinions noises etc link down below joel hansen raw so check that out appreciate y'all until next time well i'll see you in a minute click on these videos and thanks again to Huge Casino for sponsoring today's video. Like we said, click that link down below. Let them know that I sent you. When you're downloading the game anyway, might as well use that link. Hit it now.